Hello, I'm David and you're watching Crucio UK. Join me as we embark on a culinary journey aboard Norwegian's latest marvel, the Viva. Delve into my food reviews and covering the savoury secrets of Hudson's main dining room for both lunch and dinner. Let's explore the tempting delights of Indulge Food Hall and venture into the exclusive world of speciality paid for restaurants. Get ready for an Italian feast at Onda. And we'll indulge in the succulent offerings at Cagney's Steakhouse. Your taste buds are in for a treat. Let's go. We've come to Hudson's, which is one of the main dining rooms on board the Norwegian Viva. Uh, just looking at the menu and uh, there's lots to choose from. I'm quite hungry. Yeah, I think this is going to be good. I'm going to have the chicken lettuce wraps, bruschetta, and then the roasted pork loin, which sounds really, really good. I really like this restaurant. There's panoramic glass windows all the way around. It's not a huge restaurant, it's quite uh, small. As I was saying, it's, uh, it's quite a small restaurant really, uh, but I really like it. It's, I like the decor, the lighting is really, really nice. Um, we did have a 30 minute wait uh, tonight, but they give you a pager and you can go and wander around the ship, have a nice drink. And then uh, when your table's ready, they will buzz your pager and you come back. This is my starter, it's the chicken lettuce wraps and it isn't what I expected. I'm going to be giving my scores for the chicken wraps. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. The chicken was very nice, quite spicy. Um, I just wish they had prepared the chicken wraps beforehand rather than me do it myself. So 3 out of 5. This is the bruschetta. Looks really good. I'm sure it's going to taste delicious too. Let me give you the scores for the bruschetta. I'm going to give it a Crucio UK score, a three out of five. Um, I liked it, but I didn't love it. Um, the ricotta cheese was very dry, didn't have a lot of taste. But the tomatoes were really, really good, and the bread itself was really, really good. This is my main. I've gone for the pork loin with sweet potato mash and asparagus. It looks really, really good. The plate is piping hot, so I've got high hopes of this one. Let me give you the scores for the pork. I really enjoyed it. Very, very nice. The asparagus was beautiful, lovely and tender, and so was the pork as well. Very, very tender. Lots of taste. I really enjoyed it. I'm going to give it a Crucio UK score, a four out of five. It's dessert time and I've ordered the cherry pie with vanilla sauce. Beautiful. This is the cherry pie and I can already, well, you can see, there's hardly any vanilla sauce. It needed a lot more than that. If I was having this at home, the vanilla sauce, the custard, would be to the top of the cherry pie. But let's give it a go. Let me give you the scores for the cherry pie. I wasn't impressed. It's a zero out of five. Um, didn't have a great deal of flavor and I wasn't impressed with the way the fruit was stewed. Um, the only saving grace was the topping, which was okay. We've just watched an amazing sunset, had a few drinks, and now we are heading to the Indulge Food Hall for dinner. Here we are in Indulge. This is a new concept on NCR and it's a very informal, very relaxed dining venue made up of around about eight different stations. For example, Tapas, there's an Indian station, Texas Smokehouse, and you order everything on this tablet. And it's lots of small plate um, items. For my starter, I've gone for bacon wrapped dates. Um, which 
but it sounds very interesting. I can't wait to try that. It was recommended by another passenger. So looking forward to that one. Um, I've also bought the Spanish tapas, the Spanish tortilla, um, which looks really good as well. And then also we've got pesto gnocchi, which we had for lunch one time and it was absolutely delicious. So I think this is going to be very good as well. Also order your drinks on the tablet as well. And I'm going to try the red bubbles, which is vodka and strawberry. Sounds really nice. The Spanish tortilla gets a 5 out of 5, it was delicious. Bacon wrapped medjool dates was a bit of a mixed bag for me. I could see why people like it, it was very sweet, very indulgent starter. Um, but I'm not sure why I would rush back to order it again, so I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. My third starter, the Pesto Noki Divine. If you come here, make sure you order that. It is beautiful. Very creamy, the Noki is super tender. Perfect. Five out of five. Our mains have arrived and they look really good. Chicken tikka smells delicious. That's Latu rice. Beautiful fresh pepper buns some chutney and there's also a very nice looking naan. Tikka masala was absolutely delicious. I'm going to give it a crucial UK score, 5 out of 5 with a bonus point. It was authentic, great taste, perfect temperature. It was delicious, very fresh and the poppadoms were great as well as was the naan. Couldn't fault it. If you are still hungry after all of that, and you've saved enough room for desserts, you just go to the Just Sweets and Just Dessert stations and uh, choose whatever you want from the cabinet. That's what we're going to do now. The strawberry cake is not worth the calories. Completely tasteless. Uh, zero. Zero out of five. This one is the coconut cream. And it's pretty tasteless and the cream is like a overly firm custard. It's not very nice. Zero. But the mocha eclair gets a crucial UK score. Five out of five. Delicious. Uh, we're here for lunch and uh, I'm quite hungry. I skipped breakfast today. Uh, as you might be able to see outside, it's really rocky today. Um, the captain said it was gale force 10, 11, so it's quite uh, choppy. And uh, so we skipped breakfast, but I'm hungry for lunch. So let's have a look at the menu. So I've ordered a Vietnamese chicken pho, which is a, uh, I think it's minced chicken and noodles wrapped in lettuce. Sounds really nice. A caprice salad, which sounds very re refreshing. And then for my main, I went for a Spanish frittata. So it's a Spanish omelette. So I'm sure it'd be nice. This is my starter and it's completely different to what uh, I was expecting. I didn't realize it was a soup at all, um, but I'm sure it'd be very nice. Let me give you my scores for my soup. Uh, it was really nice, I enjoyed it. Um, perfect lunchtime starter. Uh, it was, the temperature was really good, lots of flavour, it's quite spicy. The chicken po gets a crucial UK score. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. This is my caprice salad. It looks really, really nice. It's quite a big starter. Um, let's give it a go. Let me give you my scores for the caprice salad. I'm going to give it a crucial UK score, 4 out of 5. It's really, really nice. Uh, lovely and fresh and a light starter. The tomatoes are nice and juicy. The mozzarella is creamy and firm. Uh, beautiful basil uh, taste to it. It's really, really good. This is my Spanish frittata. It smells really, really good. Um, I'm half Spanish, so let's see if this is going to be as good as my dad would make. I'll let you know. I'll give you my scores for the Spanish frittata. An easy five out of five. It was really delicious. I really enjoyed it. Could eat another one. Um, it was, yeah, cooked perfectly. I mean, it's an easy thing to get right, I guess. 
but it was beautiful and ideal for a lunch because it's nice and light. My dessert has arrived. I've gone for the waiter's suggestion, the raspberry panna cotta. It looks really good. I like the presentation and I love panna cotta, so high hopes for this. Beautiful. Right up my street. It's very creamy, so smooth. I love a raspberry. Let me give you the scores for the panna cotta. Absolutely delicious. Really good. If you come on here, make sure you have this. Delicious. Uh, Crucial UK score, five out of five, with a bonus point. Tonight we are going to the Italian speciality restaurant on board the Norwegian Diva. Uh, but first of all, we have started with a nice little drink at the local bar and grill. Cheers. We've come to Onza, which is the ship's Italian speciality restaurant. The menu looks fantastic. We've already been served the bread, which looks, you know I'm a fan of the bread, looks fantastic. Uh, I'm excited to try this and I'm really hungry. This is an a la carte restaurant, or if you buy a dining package, you can come here and you will get two starters, a main, and hopefully a dessert. This is my burrata, my starter. It's a very big starter, it looks fantastic. Lovely mozzarella with balsamic drizzled over, tomatoes and of course the parma ham. Looks fantastic. Let me give you my scores for the burrata starter. Uh, it was okay, I'm gonna give it a two out of five though. Um, let me know what you think. Are these heirloom tomatoes? I'm not so sure. Let me know in the comments. Also at the table, we've got a pizza. It's a, I guess it's a meat feast pizza. Looks fantastic, it's huge for a starter. Let me give you my scores for the pizza. It's uh, delicious. I'm going to an easy Crucio UK score, five out of five. It's thin and crispy. It's not greasy at all. Very tasty. Nice little bit of spice to it. Beautiful. Mm. This is my tagliatelle. It's the lobster tagliatelle. Smells delicious and the plate's piping hot. The lobster tagliatelle gets a Crucio UK score, four out of five. It was really good. Uh, it was nice and hot. If you like lobster, you would really like this. There was quite a lot of lobster in it as well. Uh, very, very nice. Four out of five. This is my beef fillet. It looks really good. Nice and juicy. I'm sure it's going to be delicious. And we've also got a side of carrots and uh, some spinach. Let me give you my scores for my main. I'm going to give it, it's an easy five out of five. I'm really enjoying it. The meat is uh, very tender, beautiful taste. Uh, yeah, and excellent value. Um, and considering this main alone is, I think, $43. Um, so if you can get the package, it works out great value. This is my dessert. I've gone for the classic tiramisu. Let me give you the scores for my tiramisu. It's an easy five out of five. Beautiful, I love tiramisu anyway. It's one of my favorite desserts. And this one was really good. A little bit boozy, real nice coffee flavor. Lovely, creamy, very light. I really enjoyed it. And that's finished off the meal really well was delicious, I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend you try Onda. We've come to Los Lobos, which is the ship's Mexican restaurant. And it's something a little bit different for us. Uh, the menu looks fantastic. I've ordered the De La Casa salad, which is baby greens, avocado, and tortilla strips. And for my main, I'm having the beef burrito, um, which sounds really good. Refried beans, red rice, cilantro yeah i'm sure it's going to be delicious they are starting us off with tortilla chips and some salsa let's give it a go salad has arrived the de la casa salad looks fantastic let's give it a go i really enjoyed my salad it was delicious really fresh and the balsamic really lifted it and the avocado was super creamy very tender 
beautiful, crucial UK school, five out of five. The tortillas are delicious, cooked fresh, really good, but the salsa is completely tasteless, which surprised me. No taste to it whatsoever. This is my main, the beef burrito, and I've also got a side of uh, corn on the cob. Okay, my main, I'm going to give it a Crucial UK score of two out of five. And it was okay, um, but I, it didn't have much taste at all, which surprised me. I thought coming to a Mexican, usually the uh, tastes are very vibrant, aren't they? And uh, there was just not much taste of that. So far, I haven't really enjoyed the food in here. Um, I don't think it's up to scratch, especially compared to Cagney's Steakhouse or the Italian restaurant on board. It doesn't feel uh, overly special. Um, so I think they really need to rec uh, work on the food. But what I have enjoyed is the service. Our servo, uh, Marco from Serbia, has been fantastic. Uh, he served us in the main restaurant once and uh, he was fantastic then as well. So although I didn't enjoy the food, um, his service has been fantastic. This one is the churros with dolce de leche sauce. Let's tuck in. The churros were delicious. Crucial UK score, five out of five with a bonus point. Delicious, worth coming here just for those. Um, they were lovely and warm. And they were presented, they weren't long. They were shaped like a donut and uh, delicious. Just like at a fun fair, really, really good. We've come to the local bar and grill for lunch. We're really hungry because we skipped breakfast this morning. We've got three starters. This is the beef chili, and we've also got pretzel bites and loaded nachos. My scores for the beef chili, I'm going to give it a Crucial UK score, four out of five. It's really good. The tortillas are really nice and crunchy and fresh. The minced beef is a really nice taste, and the, uh, the chili is just about the right temperature for me. Nice and spicy. The second starter, the pretzel bites. Uh, they're okay. I'm going to give it a Crucio UK score, three out of five. Um, the pretzels are the best bit. They're nice and chewy and fresh. The, the, uh, the cheese sauce, I'm not a fan of, but I'm not a fan of that American cheesy sauce anyway. Uh, so three out of five. Mm -hmm. The loaded nachos were pretty much the same as the beef chili. Um, just, yeah, almost identical. So I'm going to give it a, an identical score, a four out of five. My main course has arrived. The cheeseburger looks really good and the fries are really fresh. Let's give it a go. I'm give it the scores for my burger. It was really good. I'm going to give it a, a score of five out of five. It was perfect. Couldn't fault it. Nice and juicy, cooked fresh. Perfect. I don't normally do this, but I'm going to give the mudslide a score as well, and it's going to get a 5 out of 5. It's really good in here. You come to the local bar and grill, have the chocolate mudslide, or the pina colada is also really good. 5 out of 5. So we have come to Cagney's Steakhouse for dinner this evening. Service has been very good already. Uh, we've got our ice water set up, the bread's on the way, and just ordered the wine. Uh, I'm having a glass of 66 Prosecco, which was recommended by another passenger, very glamorous lady called Rebecca. This, my trio of shrimp have arrived, and they're massive. It's gotta be the best shrimp starter I've ever had. Look at that. I've just finished the shrimp trio, and it was absolutely delicious. The shrimp was so tender. Oh, beautiful. Crucial UK score, five out of five. My lobster bisque has arrived. It smells delicious, and it's piping hot. Let's give it a go. The lobster bisque also gets a five out of five. It was delicious, very hot, perfect temperature, and it was so silky smooth. My main has arrived. I went for the 12 ounce New York strip. 
with um, sautéed mushrooms and cream spinach. It looks fantastic. I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to give it a Crucial UK score a 4 out of 5. Um, it was very good. The sides were beautiful. The mushrooms were really earthy, just how I like them. And the spinach was silky smooth. The steak itself, uh, I just found it, well, it was a beautiful taste, first of all, and perfectly seared and charred. Um, but it was just a tiny little bit tough. Um, but I still really enjoyed it. But four out of five. My dessert has arrived, it looks spectacular. I went for the raspberry creme brulee. I love raspberry and I love creme brulee, so high hopes. Let me give you the scores for my dessert. I'm gonna give it a Crucio UK score, a four out of five. It was really good. Uh, lovely, delicate raspberry flavor, silky smooth cream. Uh, it was really nice and enjoyed it. If you'd like to see my other Norwegian cruise line videos, take a look here. Until next time, I will see you up on deck.